What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video I wanted to do kind of a companion piece video because previously a ways back a couple months ago I did a video why, saying why it's positive to get into physical media right now, why there's so many avenues to collect DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that kind of stuff, even vinyls and even books and everything that there's a bunch of ways to collect physical media and why it's very, very lucrative right now. But now I kind of wanted to do kind of a polar opposite video, more of a kind of, you know, negative video leaning into the glass half empty kind of thing, which is why prices are going up and all that kind of stuff and why collecting right now could be very daunting on the wallet. So I hope you stay tuned to this video. So let's get down to this. Roll it. So one thing I want to preface is this is just like my thoughts, my opinions, and me being a collector right now in the game in 2024, my feelings on it and stuff. Like I said, I did that video why I said it's a really positive idea to get into collecting right now, and I still think it is. But also wanted to talk about pricing and some other things because pricing is going up and for, you know, steelbooks, for box sets, for, you know, Walmart exclusives, there's, you know, Arrow Video Boutique Labels and Shout Factory and all this kind of stuff. And then there's, you know, Chunky Boxes and all this stuff and then movies that are just 4Ks and then transitioning into that. So there's really a lot of stuff like that going on right now. So in terms of that, it's just one of those things that happens where we as consumers and collectors, we are spending money and depending on what we spend our money on and what we're doing, that's what we show them kind of as, you know, people, big production companies, people that are putting out these movies and all that kind of stuff. We're showing them with what we spend our money on, what we want. And basically what we want right now is a lot of people want, you know, box sets. They want posters they want all those extra slips they want reversible cover art and original cover art and you know all this kind of stuff so we as consumers are telling them that we want all those extras now being a collector you got to kind of understand that what you actually choose to spend your money on with your wallet is kind of like you putting in your photos like this is what i want this is what i care about are you cool with just blu-rays just standard editions do you want all the bonus extras and you want to get the best picture quality the best sound quality all that kind of stuff because it really depends so you kind of got to decide i already brought this up in my other video you as a you know person yourself got to decide what is most important to you and it kind of determines also what the films are so one example right away is like I'm going to talk about because this is one of my favorite sets one of my favorite physical media releases from this year and this is the Mexico trilogy box set released by Arrow Video and it's got all this bonus footage it's got all this awesome stuff great new special features and interviews with Robert Rodriguez and it has posters for each movie there's three films in here they have separate boxes for all three films and this is a very like I know you probably can't hear it because this is a noise canceling microphone but this is a very hard nice box set that actually comes with a slip too as well you know and they all have reversible cover art and i spent 70 bucks for this bad boy and i was not not upset at it at all because for me that is a bonus thing that i easily wanted to get i love rob rodriguez i love the mexico trilogy and there's so many awesome new features and new interviews that Arrow Video had done with Robert for this specific box set. So that was an easy money buy, the 70 bucks that I did not mind spending at all. Polar opposite, we have, say, there was a Deadpool and Wolverine steelbook that I think when it first came out, it's not right now, you could find it cheaper, but I believe when it first came out, it was like 60 bucks or something like that, and that was just a steelbook, and it was, I think it was a 4K or Blu-ray, it was just, I don't know exactly if it was a 4K or Blu-ray, I'll have the picture up here for that, but it was just a steelbook. It didn't have any posters in it. Didn't have new featurettes or new interviews or you know extra stuff like that. It was just that basically. And also they have, I believe, M Night Shyamalan. They released the Sixth Sense, and they also released Signs. And some of those 4Ks, the 4K prices are climbing. You know, from 30 bucks to 35 to possibly eventually going to be 40. So it's kind of the price point will keep climbing as long as us as consumers, we continue to pay. As long as we commit to the price point, the companies are going to look at that and be like, well, you know, they paid 20 
they pay 25 and then it's just going to keep going and keep going. It just becomes is like this kind of vicious circle of they want to just hike up the prices. So it just really depends on what you view as important. Like for me, I didn't pick up signs. I didn't pick up six cents. It's not because I'm not big on those films. It's just because I don't really need those on 4k i do like six cents i like signs better than that film but signs is nowhere near my top 30 or top 50 films of all time so i'm not going to go purchase that on 4k because i need it you know what i mean so it really depends on what you want let's say like poltergeist i grabbed the poltergeist 4k when that came out and i believe that one was 30 bucks or like something like that because I got that one and that was at Best Buy. I bought that one in person at Best Buy. So that's another thing too. If you're able to find physical media in person in the wild, that's what I like to say sometimes is it's typically going to be cheaper than picking up online, you know, because you're going to have to pay shipping and all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing too is like you also got a budget. You got to basically look at yourself Look at your wallet, figure out what's coming out, do some research. If you really want to figure out what's going on, because some stuff comes out and it's limited edition and it sells out. For example, we have our trick or treat, or the trick or treat that just came out, I believe, and that was a special release. You know, it's been a long time since that film film has been on physical media, and this was a freaking huge release. You know what I mean? Not to get confused with the anthology horror film. Of course, I know a lot of people confuse that and stuff like that, but yeah, this is basically sold out already you cannot get this edition right now i don't think anymore as it stands so and if you can it's going to be people who already bought it and they're reselling it like you know and they're going to hike up the price twice as much so you really got to find out what you're going to collect other stuff goes out of print other stuff's very limited edition so do your research look up things find out what's coming out what's most important to you and figure out how you're going to save money and what your budget is because me i kind of go more just off the whim unless i i do follow arrow video i follow shout factory i follow all of them and i get emails so i usually get emails that tell me like oh what's coming in the next months for this release of october and november or august and all that stuff so i can plan what i want to spend my money on like this once i knew arrow video was doing this i was picking up this bad boy so i don't mean to be a negative nancy with this video or anything like that i just kind of want to bring to attention all of you that it depends really on as a consumer i'm telling you all right now what you are willing to put your money down on and right now as it stands the majority of collectors out there for right now for physical media we are telling people that we want you know unique box sets we want you know custom you know new artwork and flip reversible artwork and stuff like that and multiple slip covers and enamel pins and that's kind of what we're telling people right now is that that's all the stuff we want me i don't really splurge that heavy like i said unless it's something i really really enjoy like i got the killer clowns i got right there I got that 50, the 30th anniversary right there, or 35th anniversary. It came with the posters, the enamel pins. That's the first horror film I ever showed my son. It's just a very big deal. This is a really good trilogy that I love this director, so that's why I spent the money and splurged on it. But nowhere near or any way in shape or form would I go out and spend the money to get a 4K of signs for the money that it's at right now or even six cents. That's just not my thing. I'm not going to go out there and just buy that, like I said, unless it's something I really enjoy, like Poltergeist. That was the 4K Blu-ray. I went and just had a slip. The cover art wasn't even that fantastic, but I love Poltergeist and I wanted it on 4K, so I was going to scoop that up. You know what I mean? There's certain stuff you really just got to be, it's personal taste, what you like and stuff like that. Other things are vinyls. Vinyls are really hot right now, and I collect vinyls, and it's very hard to find a vinyl under $30. Like, you know what I mean? Unless it's very, you know, something that's basic. It's not, you know, limited edition or a special exclusive or a really sought-after album. You're basically going to spend 30 to 40 to even $55 for a very nice vinyl. So that's what I mean. It's just as collecting right now, the prices are climbing. And especially with the new administration that's going on, we don't know. There's a lot of stuff that they might be implementing. So prices might be going up on stuff that gets, you know, imported because discs get made in Mexico. You know, play, place other places, you know, China makes the boxes that, you know, that these things go in. So it's like you really got to take that into account that when something goes up like that 
or we tax stuff that comes in, you know, it's going to really go up in price for us in the middle class. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. Like I said, I hope I didn't like make you know, like depressing or sad. I didn't want to be too much of a negative Nancy, but I wanted to kind of do, you know, give you both perspectives. You know, I'm honest on this channel. I want to give you both perspectives. I still think collecting is really amazing right now. Me, I'm having a blast searching out steel books in the wild, finding exclusives or buying stuff from Arrow Video or Shout Factory, but like I said, I budget my stuff. I know there's certain things that come out. I'm not going to be picking that up or I'm going to pick that up later on sale. You got to realize that too. If there's something that comes out and you know it's not going to probably be sold out, that if you're patient enough, that probably three, four months down the line, that item will probably be on sale. So you like patience is another fantastic thing that I really didn't preach at all in these videos. So like I said, do your research, be patient, and know how much money you have and budget your wallet. Please like the video, that definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I drop a video because most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.